It's a beautiful October day and we're back at Dollywood Theme Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This is our third time visiting Dollywood. We're season pass holders. We've fallen in love with this park. And this is our first time visiting for fall. They've got the Harvest Festival. The Great Pumpkin Luminites will be open after dark tonight. I think we're gonna try to have some cinnamon bread, have some delicious fall treats, and just enjoy the atmosphere and vibes here. So let's get started. All right, we're in. Lots of folks everywhere. The Harvest Festival's going on. I smell cinnamon already. Looking at the wait times, they actually don't look that bad right now. Of course, Lightning Rod is closed. Lightning Rod is always closed for at least part of the day when we're here, but it usually opens at some point. Looks like they've got some award-winning giant pumpkins here. This one's from Ohio, 472 pounds. This one's from New York, 657 pounds. They've always got the bees, the wasps around here. That's just part of Dollywood. I'm less scared of them than I used to be because I've gotten used to them. You leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Wow, look at this one. More big giant pumpkins. Oh my gosh, this one's 1,900 pounds. How cool. The first thing we wanted to do today was to get some hot, fresh cinnamon bread from the grist mill. And we always hear about the big lines for cinnamon bread, but we've been so lucky on our past two visits that there weren't, but this time, oh yeah, there's a huge line. We're getting in it, the smell of cinnamon is so strong, and we've been thinking about this since our last visit. Now there's a sign up here that says, attention, the grist mill is out of icing for the remainder of the day. All right, we're about to get inside of the grist mill and order our cinnamon bread. I don't think we're gonna have a choice but to try the apple butter dipping sauce. Look at all those loaves of cinnamon bread. And I did use my season pass holder uh, card to get a little discount. So they're giving you the apple butter instead of the Icing. It's the master wheel that makes the mill go around. Get a little look in here. Get the wheel turning and stuff. Hot, fresh cinnamon bread for the table. It feels so warm, like it's so hot that, ouch, ouch, ouch. And yeah, they're out of icing, so they're giving you apple butter. I'm sure it'll still be delicious. Let's have it. Right next to our seating area, there's some live music. So the whole table is uh, sticky and slippery from all the cinnamon breads that came before. But here we go, we got some live music. Oh yeah, that does look nice though. That does look nice. Look at that. Woo wee! All right, let's get in there. Look at that. It's like, woo! Let me just rip a piece out. Whoop. Delicious cinnamon all over it. It's still wonderful. All right, let's try this a little dip. And the reason I use a fork and knife is to try to keep my hands from being completely covered in sticky goo, even though they already are. Okay, that's really good. I don't even miss the icing. Well, I do, but like, it's so good with this apple butter. I just took it away from Sam. Here you go. Um, it's really good. It's sweet and cool, and it just complements the cinnamon perfectly. Another thing, in the bottom of the tin, it's all like this cinnamon juice that's just like, mm, it's so good. Yeah. It's warm and fresh and yeah. I am loving this. Yeah, I'm loving it. It's so good right now. This. When I was in line, it was so hot too, and it's kind of cooled off a little now. Look, you like soak, soak that up, soak that up. I keep getting bigger and bigger pieces too. <laughs> comes the Dollywood Express. Let's hear that horn. I love that sound. The Great Pumpkin Luminites events start at five, so there's gonna be carved, illuminated pumpkins, sculptures, whimsical scenes, meet and greet experiences, 
all sorts of fun. That's gonna be in Timber Canyon, Wilderness Pass, and Wildwood Grove. So we have about an hour till that starts, so let's have a little stroll around. Ever since we got into Tennessee, we've been seeing the colors change in the trees for fall. These golden and yellow and auburn, beautiful colors. And there are leaves everywhere. <laughs> oh, and people everywhere. As we're getting closer to sunset, all the lit up pumpkins look so cool. Super cute owls everywhere. Okay, now here's what this looks like in the last few hours of daylight today. I'm sure it's gonna look even cooler tonight. Pumpkin Pikachu. So this is Harvey the pumpkin. You are so cute. We came walking all over from the other side of the park to meet you. <laughs> look at this. All right, that's adorable. Harvey is so cute. And now there's another meet and greet. So we got another meet and greet here. Penny and the pumpkin master. You both have adorable hats, well, I have to I say. I mine myself. <laughs> Wow, that's very impressive. And then you've got this beautiful sculpture behind you. Well, this is my home. Okay. This, this is where I live. The very top is where I go up and I just look through to make sure that the whole kingdom is, is doing well with all the pumpkins. That's amazing, that's amazing. Well, you have a beautiful home. Thank you for letting Thanks. me look at it and very nice to meet I you. I will let you on the inside, but there's top secret information top in there secret. on how I get the pumpkins decorated and just, I can't risk it. Yeah, that. it's a lot. I, I can see that it's, it's okay. Your secrets are safe with us. And these meet and greets start at 4 p.m. right now, so an hour before the full, full-fledged Illuminites goes into high gear. But you can already see all the pumpkins are lit up. It looks so cute. The first time we came to Dollywood back in spring of this year it was like our first day here. We felt like, you know how it is. We wanted to do everything. We wanted to ride everything. And then the next time we kind of did the same but took it a little bit slower and saw some more shows and stuff. So today we're taking it like much slower and just sitting and watching, enjoying the atmosphere. And it's really, really nice. On the road again. <laughs> I love that he's working again. He wasn't working last time I was here. And they've added a bunch of carved pumpkins into his little den. Hold on a second. Look at this. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. What? This part of the park has no trace of fall or harvest festival. It is already starting to be decorated for Christmas. Okay, it's really cute though. It's really cute. That was unexpected. So unexpected. We turned a corner and it went from fall to the holidays. Look at the pretty fall colors up there. You can see. So nice. Oh, lightning rod. While we're waiting for it to get darker, we're looking at some of the specialty fall food. Maybe we'll get something. This sounds really good. We went ahead and purchased the tasting pass. That's five items for $35, but I actually got it for $31 with my season pass discount. And we paid for our two beverages just out of pocket because you want to use this for the pricier items that are $10 and up. It looks delicious. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right, here are our spoils we got for our first round. We got smoked bratwurst. This is savory and juicy smoked bratwurst with red cabbage jam served with roasted red potato hash. We got the spiced pumpkin bisque, creamy and rich pumpkin bisque flavored with roasted red peppers and smoked gouda. Oh, that sounds really good. And we got two autumn apple palmers. This is Gold Peak iced tea blended with apple juice and apple syrup topped off with a dried apple ring. It smells really good. So let's eat. That's very, very delicious. It's got a little bit of like apple spiciness to it. It's really refreshing. We were really hoping to be here at Dollywood in cool fall weather for the first time ever. But yeah, it's very, very warm today. So this is much needed. Ooh, pumpkin seeds on top. I love that. I always really loved squash soup and this is very much like that. It's delicious, pumpkin-y, it's not too hot, thankfully, but it's just warm enough. It's thick and rich and creamy and buttery and a, just a hint of sweet and a hint of, not spice, but like spice, spices and spice flavors, not spices and spiciness heat. It's really good. All right, chop this in half. I'm gonna slap on some lovely, good mustard. That is good quality honk and tonk and mustard right there. I'm so like surprised we found a seat, by the way, because it's so crowded. 
delicious. We both approve. This is a great selection of things. We chose things that we like know we generally like and they're all delicious and exceeded expectations. Another thing at the Harvest Festival is all these vendors with really cute crafts and wares. They're like witches, fairies, I don't know, but I love them. Here's another beautiful pumpkin tree that is gorgeous. I know that's a played out pun, but <laughs> Look at this pumpkin artiste. I, I need to see what he's painting. Let's go around the other side. Just as I suspected, a masterpiece. A pumpkin butterfly. Genius, brilliant, avant-garde. Oh, we've got a little garden of pumpkin people over here. Another happy fellow over there. He's waving with a stick arm, hello. Got the Dollywood Express over here. Oh wow, some chainsaw carving going on here. Oh, I've never seen this here. And here are some of the carvings. That's cool. And the train is getting packed and there's a huge line for it. Otherwise, we would hop on. There is a humongous line. It wraps all the way around. Oh, we've got the tunes performing. I think they're featured in every single Dollywood video I've ever done. <laughs> At this point we're hanging out waiting for the sun to go down so we can see everything all lit up. So we are going to take this opportunity to go and ride some rides and then I'll pick this up when we're done and things get dark. You can't film on the rides here anyway so we're going to go ride some rides. Fury, probably my favorite ride here. It's a funny, dark ride roller coaster. There's another show. Love the live music here. We've still got three items left on our tasting lanyard, so we're gonna try some more things. I think we're gonna get an apple dumpling, and we're gonna get the smoked andouille sausage mac and cheese, three bean pumpkin chili. All right, we got the smoked andouille sausage with mac and cheese and white cheddar. We got the three bean pumpkin chili with bison, Monterey Jack cheese. It says a slice of cornbread. I guess that's what's crumbled on top. And then we got an apple dumpling with ice cream. Also, it's almost nighttime. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone working at Dollywood today because it is so packed. The lines are long. The lines are long at the food booth. And everyone working here is still nice and doing a great job. And we just really appreciate that because I know, we know on a day like this, it can't be easy. So thank you for doing what you do to bring beautiful magical days to everyone even when it's like this. We got chili, we got sausage, we got mac and cheese. I just made that song up. <laughs> Alright, let's try the chili first. Mm, it's yummy. So that is cornbread crumbled on top. Sweet. I don't really taste any pumpkin but it does taste like really good chili. Let's taste the mac and cheese. I always love, love some andouille. Spicy, savory sausage, so delicious. Really creamy, white cheddar mac and cheese. That is delicious. The chili is really good too, but I feel like the mac and cheese is just a little more bold flavors. Uh, both really good. And Sam, how do you like what you got? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a warm apple dumpling? Yeah. Warm nice cold ice cream? Nice cold ice cream. I see the evidence for how much you like it. <laughs> Cute. It's finally gotten cool that I think I can put this on. I thought I'd be wearing it all day because I expected it to be like, we both did, to be really cool here. As I got deeper into the chili, I did pick up a kind of faint, squashy, pumpkin-y taste, but it was really good. We devoured it all. We loved it, and now it's dark. It's nighttime. So we're gonna do a lap of the park and check out all the pumpkin luminites, nighttime, beautiful stuff, all the night displays, and whatever else is going on for this event. Let's begin. All right, we're beginning here at Hoot Owl Hollow, a pumpkin archway here. We've got a bunch of beautiful carved pumpkins all lit up. 
There are stars and owls. So pretty. Okay, we gotta do this. How cool is that? Big line for the owl. Some beautiful owl pumpkins here. A popular photo spot, tons of people. And there's owl noises. There are even two pumpkins that are his little feet. Every little detail. That's beautiful. And now it begins. Great pumpkin luminites and great pumpkin throngs of people. Let's begin to see all of this at night. This is a hoot. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Look at these owls. Woo! Really pretty. This is so cool. It's a guitar all lit up out of pumpkins and the strings were like plucking as it was playing a song. See? Wow, wow, wow. It's really, really cool looking, really cool atmosphere. Oh. <laughs> There's so much happening around us. Look how cool the fog in the forest looks. Best seat in Dollywood. You have the best seat in the house right now. The tree here connected to Tennessee tornado. It's all twisted around like it's been through a tornado. They added these owl carved jack-o'-lanterns are hanging there. They look so cool and spooky. Listen to the music. Everything's so popular too. Everyone's taking photos and loving it all. Cool. It kind of feels Christmassy, but like spooky too. I wonder if I could just turn this white for Christmas. Yeah, like or like green and red. Big spider web covering Tennessee tornado building. So cool. So each like ride little area has a different themed pumpkin connected to it, and it looks like this one's spiders. So here we've got some spider pumpkins. How cool. Spiders. Awesome. Look at this one. A massive glowing pumpkin spider with webs. And a little spider babies hanging from the posts here. It's right here next to Fire Chaser Express. <laughs> so cool looking and they put like hair all over the spider. It's awesome. Fire Chaser Express looks so cool at night. We love this family coaster. It's so fun. And when you go inside the, the room with the fire, fireworks is so awesome. Bald Eagle looks cool too. It's neat seeing this park at night. We haven't really got yeah. to hang out in here at night too much. Yeah, it's really be Yeah. Wow! It's fireworks, Sam! Oh, yeah. The Fire Chaser Express pumpkins are fireworks! That's so cool because you go inside a fireworks shed in this ride and there's real fire and it's really cool. And then there's like fire truck pumpkins and fire hydrants. Here. Okay, back to this fella. He is lounging. He is not bothered. One iota by the crowd. He's he just, says, He's just watching the coast. Yeah. I would lay there like that, just watching the coast all day. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Back over here where we met the characters earlier, and yeah, it looks way cooler at night. Let's listen to the music, take in the sounds. Yeah! Look at the 
the spider web on Mystery Mine. How cute! There's a song! It's Pumpkin Luminites! Pumpkin Luminites! We know the song now, so yeah, we know. we're professional we know. Pumpkin Luminators. And I love it. <laughs> it keeps changing colors. It turns orange and green. I love a mix of orange and green pumpkins. <gasps> oh, yes. So cool. Cool vibe. So we can see over here Mystery Mine, right? It's got the spider web. It's got bats. Bats. And going into the Mystery Mine area, it looks like the pumpkin theme for this area is bats. We have a bunch of pumpkin carved bats. Vampire bats, surely. They look so cute. I love them. They've even got bat wings. This looks so fun to ride at night. We might do that. I love how every single pumpkin is different. Oh my gosh. They've all got character indeed. Vampiric bat character. Mystery Mine looks awesome at night. We're gonna go into Wildwood and see if we can get some wassail. Because here we go, a wassail one. Wildwood Grove, to be specific. The newest area of the park. Gotta go through a cave to get into Wildwood Grove. Butterflies. sweets and treats in Wildwood Grove. They have a few specialty food items for Great Pumpkin Luminites. And we gotta try them. Pumpkin spice churros. <laughs> it's definitely not cold enough out for a hot cider, but I, I've never had a wassail, I don't think. And I looked up how to pronounce it, because it looks like it's wassail. And I feel like when I've heard the song, it's here we go a wassailing, so I think it's possible. Not a fan of the wassail, at least this wassail. It's lukewarm, uh, it tastes like apple cider, but like not, let's just say, not a fan of the wassail. Everything else we tried today was great. There had to be something that was weird and it's, it's the wassail. How were the pumpkin spice churros? They tasted like churros. No hint of pumpkin spice? Uh, a tiny little bit, but not too much. Okay, well, you know, churros aren't okay. bad. Churro. Okay, cool. And the wassail, it's like apple juice. Yeah, it's like, Lukewarm apple juice. Yeah. That's not my. That's that's. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. No, no, no. Thank you, Wassel. Bye. Last time we were here, we saw a lot of traces that a new ride or attraction was coming. We saw all this construction area. We saw it from the train too, and they have now announced that it's going to be called Big Bear. I guess Big Bear Mountain. It's a new roller coaster they're building. And it's coming in 2023. Things are about to get big, so we're excited. Hopefully when that opens, we can come out and share it with you. There's some pumpkin sunflowers. So the base, they're carved as the leaves and the stem, and the top is carved as a sunflower. That's beautiful. Oh, the tree has a little show going on. When the little girl's parents were searching for her, they found the child happily playing at the base of the tree. She told a fantastic tale of a forest filled with music and color. Or was it just the dream of a sweet little girl gently rocked to sleep by the enchanting music of the grove? The grove is alive with love and light. Your very own dreams can also take flight, Aww. carried by the wind like a joyful song. And you can make the music of the mountains part of your heart song forever. And that's why we love Dolly. We just love her. All right, now we get a better look at Mystery Mine at night. 
I'll keep looking at more of the cool themed decorations. Yeah, Batman looks really cool. He's got a little tuxedo. He's got a bow tie on. by the speaker and listen to the Mystery Mind song. Oh my gosh, his pumpkins are lit up at night. Oh, I think you won't keep One more time. It looks like we've got aquatic creatures here by Dropline. There are wading birds and crustaceans and reptiles and turtles. Really cute. And there are frog pumpkins here. The frog pumpkins are sitting on lily pads. You can hear them chirping. Frogs in the fog. We figured it out. Good move, Dollywood. Good move. Over here at Thunderhead, it looks like there are pumpkin dogs and cats. And they're so cute. And it looks so cool at night. We're definitely gonna do a night ride. I can't even imagine how many carved pumpkins are in this park right now. Hundreds, if not Thousands. We're gonna walk through this light tunnel at night now and in this camping area. I like the campfire and the lantern. I love that. They've got it's like a pile. See, it's like a campfire. Oh, you see the blue lights? It's like a like a river. And there's fish. Yeah. Those pumpkins are fish. Fish pumpkins. Fish and the blue lights are a little river, a little creek. Are you ready? The blue pumpkins on top. Yeah. That's a waterfall. That's cool. How clever that is. Here in the lumberjack graveyard, the pumpkins are carved like hearts and music. There are disco dancers, and there's disco music. Lit. <laughs> You've been waiting to say that, haven't you? I've been waiting so long. <laughs> I, tried, I tried a few times. I heard you try to slip in and I just yeah. ignored it. Yeah. But this time, this you time. got... <laughs> One thing you always got to do at the end of an evening here at Dollywood is visit Flashbulb Photos to pick up your pictures. I do have a season photo card, but you still got to come pick them up because when they take your photos, they just give you a little slip of paper and then you bring them here and they add them onto your photo package. And that is going to wrap up our day today at Dollywood for Harvest Festival, Fall Festivities, Specialty Food and Drinks, and Pumpkin Illuminites. It was really pretty. All the different rides and areas had themed pumpkins, carved different animals, or like themed to the rides and the areas that they were in. It was very clever, very beautiful. It looked like so much work. And yeah, it was just a beautifully put together event. Fun for the whole family. Different things going on during the day, different things at night. Pretty much everything we tried to eat was wonderful, except for that last item, the wassail, was not it, but everything's subjective and there's always gonna be something somebody's not gonna like, and that something was the wassail. But everything else, we loved. In between everything, we got to ride some rides and have some fun, and uh, yeah, we just, this is a great park, it's a lot of fun, so we are gonna head back to our hotel now. We've got a lot more adventures coming up, some new things, some cool things. Gonna be traveling to some cities we haven't been to for a long time and some cities we've never been to, so that's really cool. And it was just another beautiful day here at Dollywood Theme Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in the Great Smoky Mountains. We love Dolly, we love Dollywood. 
It's a great park. I'm so happy that we became season pass holders. So happy that we took a chance and came out this past spring for our first time back in the summer back in the fall and we're already looking at making plans to come back for Smoky Mountain Christmas because I feel like that's gonna be like 10 levels above this because Christmas here seems like it's gonna be a big deal and we love Christmas so we're really excited. We love you Dollywood, we will be back and we love all of you. Thank you so much for being here with us. I am sending you all a ton of love. Let me know your thoughts about Dollywood, Pigeon Forge, Great Smoky Mountains, all of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay in Bye.